This fight brought to you by Brisbane City Lawyers. Queensland, let's bring the noise. Here we go. Five by three minute rounds in the bantamweight division. This fight is a rematch and they will be fighting for the eruption bantamweight title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Elise Stolder and of Team Stolder Muay Thai, an official weight of 52.5 kilograms, a record of 77 fights, 46 wins, 26 losses and four draws, 21 wins coming by knockout, fighting out of the Sunshine Coast, ladies and gentlemen, Brody Stolder! And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, trained by Ben Johnson, out of the fight center with an official weight of 52.8 kilograms. 31 fights, 20 wins, one draw. Nine wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Kapalaba, right here in Queensland. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey the Nightmare Nicholson. Big support. Both fighters, white crew round. This is your co-main event of the evening. Well, Round one. Fight formalities done. The rematch that is much talked about. Stalder versus Nicholson is underway, folks. Brody Stalder and Nicholson, as you said, Daddy Cool, they met before and there was a knockdown apiece and it was just crazy the last fight. Will this one be the same? Yeah, I definitely think it will. Um, you know, contrasting styles here. Corey, uh, he, he's very kickboxing style he'll bounce around um, he doesn't mind copping kicks to get the punch uh, Brody on the other style as he just gets a Mickey flip there um, very tight style very precise in his actions uh, as we see with that leg kick so yeah this is this has got a cracker written all over it well certainly uh, still the wealth of experience he's uh, been there done that many times but he's looking for redemption here. He's looking to make a statement and, uh, you know, against a young gun. Nicholson, of course, with Michael Tomahawk, Thompson, Dan Bell, and uh, what a team that are training him up as well. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. He's the real deal. Um, very, very tough uh, and just and got, a, got a great will to win. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is a good one. Still there now, just uh, taking his time, working that hook nicely on the turn. Nicholson trying to find something, trying to create something, bouncing up on the balls of the feet. Yeah, he's very mobile, Nicholson, and um, Brody will just be trying to catch him, catch him on the way in. Uh, he's got very powerful kicks, uh, punches, Brody. So look for that body shot as well. Another fight: Orthodox versus Southpaw. So opposing stances. The strategy in the game changes a little. When uh, you're, you're in this situation, Daddy Cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, but the, you know they've they've stood toe to toe for five rounds last time, so they you know they've they've done their homework on each other. Uh, as you see, good defence with uh, Brody blocking the kicks and then returning kicks of his own. So a little bit more composed than the last time they met uh, is Brody Stalder, but um, yeah, he he's looking for redemption. Oh, step up, elbow, step through elbow there from Nicholson. They clinch up, dig deep, get their vertical base solid. Then they'll work, they'll look to work the knees like that and then transition to the elbows or look for the takedowns in the clinch. Drops the weight into the legs, does Nicholson. Shuts down the clinch, they break. Big thanks to, uh, to Brisbane City Lawyers for getting behind this one. Uh, all the uh, great fights tonight on Eruption Muay Thai. Paul Demacoli and the team doing a sensational job. Absolutely capacity house here. Filled. Great night one. of action so far. And this, this fight is just continuing on that trend. It was an arm wrestle, that one. Round number two, here we go. Mark the Hammer Castanini with Dane Daddy Cool calling the shots. Staller versus Nicholson, the rematch. First round, real feeling our process. Second round, they're gonna to look to open up a little bit more. Someone wants to stamp their dominance on this one. Stalder, turning hook on the back foot. Again, comes straight through with that straight uh, left hand. 
Oh, nice right hand there by Brody. You, you can see both boys just uh, gauging the distance with that front hand. They're touching each other's hands um, and then coming into attack. So this is a real chess battle, this one. Stalver letting that big left kick go. Smashing the inside guy goes Nicholson. And he, does, he has got the hide and reach advantage. 21 years of age, Nicholson. Oh, the big body kick answered with the big clubbing left hand from Stalder. Yeah, he's mixing it up well on the outside, Corey. Uh, he knows that he's got to be wary of the power of uh, Brody's punches as he's coming in. So he's mixing it up with the low kicks, high kicks. It's, uh, it's good to watch. Just a nice fluent footwork as well from Nicholson. He just, on the balls of his feet, not being a sitting target, keeps mobile. In turn, Stalder just stalking forward. Great evasion, slips the punch, answers with a kick. Yeah, beautiful. Chops low. The solid techniques uh, in response to Nicholson's attacks from Stalder. Nice check, Nicholson. Turning hook attempt, Stalder. They clinch up. Let's see who'll get the foot base positioning right. Big knee. slap knee there on the backside. Yeah, just, just the one they won't go on with. Lost his foot in Nicholson. As both fighters jostle for front foot position because obviously in an opposing stance fight, the front foot positioning is, uh, is paramount. So they're both trying to get that front foot placed right in order to fire the back power. Yeah, we, we're seeing um, we're seeing Brody try to upset his flow in with that left hook. I'd, I'd like to see him come back with the right hand. He's he's, um, he's he's caught him a couple of times, as we just see. Then locks the kick, big, oh, big knee. knee. Yeah, he's got he's got some he's got some dynamite in those hands, Brody. So if he can if he can string a few punches together, uh, it might catch Corey off guard and um, and be all over. Big oh, left. Big turning, big turning hooks from Stalder. And he's in Southpaw now too, so. I reckon I've been commentating Stalder since he was about 18 years old. Yeah, and he, he just gets, he's like a fine bottle of wine, this, this bloke. He gets better as it goes along, Brody yeah, Stalder. Yeah, definitely. He's, um, he's been fighting since before I was around. I was, I was just coming on and, and he was a 15-year-old yeah. kid, which was very, very young at that time. And um, he's outlasted me. Round three. Third of five. Nicholson versus Stolder. Nicholson in the red, Stolder blue. For those of you at home watching, how you're scoring this one? Just touching gloves. Reason for that is just uh, to get their range. Yeah, and it's interesting. Brody's gone into Southpaw. Yep. Come straight out into Southpaw. He had some uh, he had some success last round with it, so he's decided to stick to it. And uh, it really is a mark of experience that he's able to switch. Obviously, from Orthodox to Southpaw, Stalder. Yeah, he's a very underrated but fighter I'm, his whole career, in my opinion. But I'm wondering why he switched. Potentially, he might have an injury. Sometimes fighters switch to protect a uh, you know, particular part of their leg or body. Um, or he may just want to be uh, doing something to, to confound Nicholson and uh, just throw his thought process out by switching stance as well. Yeah, he's a very skilled fighter, so... Um I'm, I'm not sure if, if he would be uh, injured. I think he's, he's very skilled, so orthodox southpaw, it doesn't, doesn't matter how he's standing. Again, they uh, measure up. Nicholson trying to attack the back leg. Stalder throws that big left. Backs up to give himself room. Tries to draw Nicholson, and then uh, it really is a counter-fighting game that Stalder's playing here at Daddy Court. Yeah, both boys... Uh, there you go. Very calculated with their attacks. Um, Chops uh, out the supporting leg, does Stalder. Oh, big, up knee. nice knee there. And again. And again. The nightmare, like I said, is the nightmare for a reason. He will never stop. And you've got to think, you know, having the likes of Michael Tomahawk Thompson as a training partner, you know he's going to be, uh, you know, trained hard and, uh, and pushed the whole way. Well prepared for this one. Yeah. Wilson now bringing the heat. With Stalder. Definitely, uh, definitely picking up the pace in this round is 
is Corey and a nice little evasion. Come back with his own counter punch there as Brody lets an elbow of his own go. Yeah, better round uh, for Nicholson this one. And he's still bouncing on the balls of his feet, testament to his fitness and his prep. Third round in and he's still uh, looking fresh as a daisy. Yeah, he's, uh, he mixes it up with a few boxing fights as well, Corey. Um, always keeping busy. So uh, that's great footwork and yeah, great head movement. That's that boxing footwork you see there just bouncing up on the balls of the feet. But he does plant when he throws as well. So he's got a good adaption and he's got a good power weight transfer. Nice little block of the knee from Brody there. It's a little, it's a small little things that get me excited, Hammer. <laughs> That's all. And again, round kick from Nicholson. And the crowd's uh, really starting to get involved with this one. Um, Corey's is. home turf. The There's a lot three. from the Sunshine Coast here tonight. Yep, yep. Two rounds to go in this championship bout. Will it be the ever mobile and busy Corey Nightmare Nicholson? Or will it be the experienced veteran Brody Stalder? Two rounds to go. And these are really the impressionable rounds now, aren't they? These are, these are really the defining rounds. It takes down Stalder, does Nicholson. That'll score well for him. Yeah, no, very well done. I think, uh, once again, I'd, I'd like to uh, see Brody get a bit more busy with his with his boxing and, and take some of those big, powerful punches to the body. Uh, try and slow Corey down a bit because uh, he's getting on his he's getting on the balls of his feet, bouncing in and out, and, and scoring some nice shots. Oh, nice again with uh, Stall though, just rolling those hooks over well. But Nicholson's now almost aware of it, so he's, he's sort of faking and trying to draw the hook and counter. Yeah, that's right, and, and that's yeah. why I, I would have liked a nice oh. jumping knee there from, from jumping Nicholson. Jumping knee, big shots on the outside. The busier of the two is certainly Nicholson at this point. What does Brody Stalder have to do? What can he do that he could? Yeah, I, like I said, I, I, I want him to get a bit more aggressive with his punches, not just the one big hook, you know, follow of through, maybe no more than, than three or four punches and, and finish on the leg just to uh, just to slow him down a bit. He's, he's, he's very mobile and he's getting very confident, so he's got to change up his game here, Brody. Just busy, busy, busy is Corey Nicholson, and he finished that last round very confidently and he's stepped up into this one this round with renewed vigor in turn stall that seems to have just slowed that little bit i want to see him up his work rate push forward because it is uh nicholson that is continually sort of going forward as well that's right and, and you know nick this is nicholson he's the brizzy boy he's got a very big following here and uh and uh, he wants to make he wants to prove that you know it wasn't an accident. It was it was a bit of an upset yep. when he won last time, um, but it was a great fight. And you know he's very tough and very fit, so he wants to prove that it's not an accident. And uh, I think he's doing that now. Well, definitely the fight center in Brisbane, Dan Bell and the, and the team in the corner. Once again, jump jumping the sweeping yeah. leg. It's the little things that I love, the Hammer. Little things, eh? Yeah, little things. Round kick, have a look at the mobility of Nicholson. Jumping knees into the body, he goes. Stalder though, tough. And just locks up Brody's legs there so he can't knee. Great little technique. He's oh. starting to run away with it, Hammer. Yeah, in this he's round. Starting, it's, it's, just the, it's just that Hammer constant Brody. work rate. Oh. Mobility. Shots from angles. He's just a ball of energy, Corey Nicholson. And that's uh, making it a hard night at the office, this rematch for Brody Stalder. And straight away, Hammer, Corey just, you know, big knee again, straight on him. He uh, he wants this last round. We've got him unofficially up. Would you agree, Hammer? Yeah, fifth and final round. And it is uh, just the uh, high work rate 
and just dynamic technique of Nicholson that uh, is giving him the head, the heads up here, it's giving him the edge. Hey, it's yeah. all, always tough. But uh, Nicholson just it's that superior work rate and mobility. He's doing a great job. Yeah, and he's you know he's growing with confidence. He's growing with uh, every second that keeps going. He's trying the jumping knees. He tried a little back elbow there uh, before, so you know he's just he's just growing with confidence. He's lost his footing. The, down, the step through downward elbow. Nice work from Stall that has slipped under it. Lost his footing a little. But, uh, the the counter fighting strategy. I don't think has paid the dividends he thought it would. No. Well, the thing is, uh, you know, if it's not working, you've got to try something new. You, you've only, you've only got three minutes each round to um, to figure your opponent out analyze them and, and take them apart. So um, Corey's uh, stuck to his game plan and it's working, so. I think the best version of Brody Stolver is the version that is going forward, in your face, attacking with those low kicks. Yeah, I'd agree, 100%. Uh, maybe, maybe just overthinking it a little, and that's giving uh, Corey Nicholson the edge. Yeah, or, uh, you or, know, he's a young, young, young guy on the up, so take nothing away from Nicholson. Yeah, and, and Brody's still on that southpaw uh, stance, so you, you might he may be carrying an injury. You, you never know, but um, but he's going to have to pull a hail mary out, yeah. in my opinion, Hammer. Yeah, definitely, uh, he's got to get in and just trade it up, throw those big bombs that he's renowned for. Still, though, he's been doing this a long time, Daddy Cool, as well. So, you know. Oh, oh beautiful oh, elbow! Beautiful. Just gets Two. caught. He was still in the fight, Five, and that one's just going to turn it on its head now, Daddy ten. Paul. And uh, Corey Nightmare Nicholson now. He's going to come out. Got this one by the throat. Beautiful jumping, jumping knee. knee. Into Look. elbows goes Nicholson. Turning the pressure right up now, Corey Nicholson. And and Brody's just got to throw ca no caution into the wind and just start swinging, in my opinion. Yeah, Stalder's just got to let it all go. But he was well rattled by that last shot. You know, he's, uh, he's in the fog potentially still a little. Final moments, he's got to let it all go, Stalder. Does he have anything left? Nicholson, just continual barrages of attacks. Kicks, punches, knees, elbows. It's all coming and it's all working. Corey, the nightmare, Nicholson. Final 10 seconds of this last round, Hammer, and the nightmare is just relentless with his pressure. Flips out. There it is. Five rounds. One stop action. Eruption. Semi main event. Nicholson Stolder certainly delivered, Daddy Cool. Definitely. That, that's a very dominant performance there by Corey Nicholson. He had a Brisbane. point to prove. It wasn't an accident last time, and, he, and he's proved that point. Very, very well done to the uh, the fight center and Corey and Nightman Nicholson. Well, Nicholson, what a future ahead for this young man. Absolute sensation. And he hasn't just beaten, if he has beaten someone tonight, he's beaten an Aussie legend, Brody Stalder. This one's going to go to the judges, but for us, it was a, a good performance, dominant performance from the Nightmare Nicholson. And, and uh, he got that knockdown, and that certainly would have sealed the fate definitely for Brody Stalder, potentially. Great skill, skill shown. I hope they show the replay, because he lifts his leg, pulls the guard down, and just drives in the elbow. Very, very well timed and uh, no accident. So great work from Corey Nicholson. And, and uh, you know, we'll see these guys probably go again. You know, there's not many <laughs> not many guys at this weight in Queensland at the moment at this caliber. So, you know, they'll get straight back into it. Well, definitely uh, Corey Nicholson, uh, a fighter to look out for. And a dynamic fight, a crowd pleaser, as is uh, Brody Stolder. He's uh, had a long, long years of service was uh, given Australian Muay Thai, and they've always got to appreciate the legends. Look at that, Beautiful. just got caught, the slimmest of margins, it only takes a millimetre, and that was all it took for Corey Nicholson to, uh, to land the, uh, the dominant shot there. After five rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. Your three judges score the contest, 49-46, 48-46, and 48-46, declaring your winner via unanimous points decision, and new eruption bantamweight champion, right corner, Corey the Nightmare Nicholson. The young gun, Corey Nightmare Nicholson, gets the win, gets the hardware.